morning friends this is dinath yaran and my batch mates are kedana shegar and des nagraj one of them is taking the video and i like to say about my project uh, actually i am so interested in vlsi design so i plan to design my project in the vlsi domain let me discuss about my project uh, just a minute this is what my project is uh, actually the content what i am going to discuss about uh, is here displayed here and then abstract is nothing but a gate oxide breakdown layer using porphyrin nanometer technology and uh, maintaining the cmos design and stram cell designing and uh, maintaining the stram cell with stram array and then technology what we are using here is 45 nanometer technology we just replaced with 65 nanometer technology and the advantage of 45 nanometer technology is as you know uh, this is the size of the transistor is so less and uh, we can uh, we can fabricate more number of transistor in a small area so that the area of uh, transistor also reduces and then uh, analyzing the parameter what are the parameters we are going to analyze here is dc margin access time and cell breakdown due to degradation and power analysis the, these are the four parameters we are going to analyze here uh, with this uh, project and also maintaining the performance of the cmos devices and the comparison table between the 45 nanometer technology and 65 nanometer technology as i, sh- as I have shown here between uh, 45 and 65 nanometer technology with only silic- uh, silicon get oxide so to drain oxide but here i uh, uh, increased uh, germanium is present in 45 nanometer technology and other things were there displayed and uh, this is what the actually this is to 180 nanometer sorry 250 nanometer technology uh, which i have designed uh, with an uh, in- inverter and uh, the performance of the inverter is shown be, shown here and uh, when compared to it this is a it is the inverter with 45 nanometer technology using cadence tool i have designed it you can find a cadence tool symbol here just a minute here with the cadence tool design mm-hmm. and then the performance which is maintaining here as such uh, uh, how it is in the previous uh, technology and uh, sram uh, with this uh, with this i have designed about with this i have uh, in, uh, checked about my uh, components with uh, in, with inverter and now i'm going to implement the, those components with sram implementation uh, the main advantage of sram as you all know it's a memory cell and we can we can use it as a memory memory device and also power measurement and propagation delay i'm going to di- uh, discuss about here about that here this is the sram cell using uh, 60 uh, 250 nanometer technology in the cadence tool sorry tanner tool uh, that i have made in the performance here and then this is what the 45 nanometer technology cadence tool and the magnified version of 45 nanometer technology 60 cadence tool and then the output as i have shown here this is what the output and through that uh, 65 nanometer technology cadence tool i have designed with snm arrays uh, this is the snm array magnified version here uh, this is the interfacing ic uh, with, with, with this we can interface this snm cell with the other things and uh, all the other this is all the magnific- magnified version of the array and then advantages SRAM is a single cell power analysis power analysis I have done here and advantages gate oxide breakdown can be minimized the leakage current uh, through the parasitic capacitance can be minimized can improve the performance of SRAM and the application can use as memory devices and also can use as a buffer cell thank you